Mitchell and Langer on the line of scrimmage coming from either side to try to block the kick. Auburn trying to go after it. Here's a snap. They got it. Block kick. Balls back to the 25. Picked up on the bounce at the 25-yard line. And in for a touchdown is David Langer. We'll give credit to Bill Newton for blocking it. David Langer caught it on the bounce at about the 20 and ran it in for the score. And it is. Touchdown Auburn. The score, Alabama 16 and Auburn 10. Third down, four. Perry Davis, long, long count. Now he gives, no, he's caught, he's got the ball. Mike Neal, Mike Neal at the 42. And they fired Neal and he got Terry Davis back at the 42 yard line. It'll be fourth and 10 Alabama. Greg Gantz standing on his own 30, Auburn will try to block it. Auburn going after it, here's a good snap. It is blocked, it is blocked, it's caught on the run. It's caught on the run, he's gonna score. David Langner, David Langner is scored and Auburn has tied the game. And Roger Mitchell blocked the kick. Roger Mitchell blocks the kick, and it's 16 to 16, and the entire Auburn team has come out to get David Wagner. As Dave Beck will hold, Gardner Jett will attempt on one of the biggest point afters you ever want to see. What a big one. All right. Snap, kick. Good! Good! With time out of the field, the score is Auburn 17, Alabama 16. So it's going to be about a 52-yard attempt. The 52-yard attempt will be it for Van Tippett. This would win the game. A 52-yard try. The clock will not start for the ball is snapped. There is the snap. The kick. It is in the air. It has this it. It's good! It's good! It's good! It's good! It's good! It's good! Van Tiffin has won the ball game. Alabama has beaten Auburn! Van Tiffin has kicked a 52-yard field goal! And the state of Alabama is crimson! ...by Upchurch, McElroy, and when I said Auburn has to hold him to a field goal, I'm saying you don't want your team to have to score a touchdown at the end of the game. Obviously, Auburn's going to have a chance to tie or win this ball game. But right there, a great play. And many years ago, we'll see what happens. Three lined up, bottom of your screen. Going for the home run ball. Todd goes deep. Jump ball! Incomplete, and Alabama stays undefeated. Alabama's first win at Auburn since 2001 and a jump ball and look at that that's like a volleyball kill yeah you know not to put any blame at all on that last play because you don't know what's going to happen I would have liked Chris Todd to give his receivers a little more time to get up the field didn't happen for Steve Burline Craig Bullerjack we say so long from Auburn where a final score Alabama 20. <laughs>
Mandel will hold it. Now they've officially made it 57 yards. Remember, a blocked kick can go the other way, too. He's got to be careful and get it up. On the way. No, returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Davis gets a block. Davis has another block. Chris Davis. No flags. Touchdown, Auburn. An answered prayer. to play it close to the vest if they give up one here. Play action. Coker dances right, goes in the end zone, man is open. It's caught by Darius Stewart. How about Jacob Coker? Stunts defensively. Johnson down the middle. Oh! oh! Jason Smith! Can you say Ricardo Lewis and the prayer of Jordan Hare? That was against Georgia two weeks ago. Play action, Coker. Tucks it, runs it. Stiff arm. Nice defensive play, is out of bounds. Oh, oh flag and an official goes down. Yeah, 15 more, and that official hit that slick, slick spot. After the play, personal foul, laid it out of bounds. Defense, the team are coming in. During the dead ball period, we had an unsportsmanlike act conduct against the bench of Auburn. Oh, wow. The team the end of the run. Starts right. Curves left. Got it. Oh. Rush coming. Rush getting there. Tim Williams. Four-man rush. Johnson has the time, but it's incomplete. It'll be fourth and seven. Across the middle. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Henry. Punctuation mark. In that fourth quarter. Johnson, lateral play, and that'll do it. <laughs>